Simplified BACnet Data Sharing In this presentation, we will cover the basics of BACnet data sharing principles used when reading or writing to BACnet objects between devices available on the local BACnet network. We will look at how to use the BACnet communications blocks available with Omni. Data sharing between BACnet controllers will also be discussed and how it varies from non-BACnet global communications between devices. BACnet data sharing essentially refers to a BACnet device requesting or writing data values to a BACnet object contained within another BACnet device on the network. For instance, in this example, the Omni controller is requesting the chiller's chill water supply temperature value. The chiller, which has a BACnet over IP interface, responds back with the requested object's present value. There are many properties available for each BACnet object. Usually the most common property type used will be the object's present value, in this case, the temperature value. The devices can also exist on a BACnet MSTP network segment that is routed back to the BACnet over IP network. We can target any device and its objects as the network is seen as one BACnet over IP network. When programming the Omni controller, we can utilize BACnet object blocks, the green blocks shown, to allow other BACnet devices or clients to view and request block values over the BACnet network. Once configured, Omni is a BACnet device with objects, providing a fully native BACnet solution. This can open new possibilities for data sharing as each BACnet block object can be seen from any BACnet device or client, providing global data on the BACnet network. It is important to obtain the BACnet object list for the device that you wish to share data with. Once the device can be seen in the ICOM communication server BACnet connection, you can export the device object list. We will see this in part 2 of this series. In this example, I have extracted the BACnet object list and have a portion of the resulting CSV file. From this, I can see the object name and its associated object ID. Note that some devices may not provide the full object names and is entirely dependent on the manufacturer. In this case, you would need to contact the provider for more information. In the Focus Programming software, you can access the BACnet comms blocks via the comms group. This consists of the BACnet comms input or BCI and the BACnet comms output or BCO. These blocks allow us to configure the BACnet data sharing options within Omni and external objects on other BACnet devices. The BCI block allows you to read back any supported BACnet object and property value. There are many property types to select from as listed by the BACnet standards. The most common property used is the object's present value, which provides the actual value reading of the object. The read request can be set to either polling, which asks for the value at specific time intervals in seconds, or change a value referred to as COV, which can offer a more efficient method of value update and can reduce network traffic. The block also provides feedback in relation to the status flags and comms fault if the device or object being read goes into fault or is offline. In this example, the default value configured in the block's properties is shown as the device has gone offline. The BCO block provides the ability to write to an object's property such as the present value. This could be a set point on a device or to override a binary output to control a fan on or off. As long as a remote object supports the right command, you can perform many tasks within the network. As with the BCI, there are many property types to select from, as listed by the BACnet standards. The most common property used is the object's present value. Comms fault feedback is also supported to advise if the remote object or device goes offline or has other issues. We will look at each of these blocks in more detail in part 2 and 3 of this series. The traditional method of using global blocks to share data will not work within the BACnet network. These are reserved for the Maxim and Genesis devices on an Initech RS485 network. This example demonstrates that we can read back the room temperature analog input present value from Omni number 2 into the BCI block on Omni number 1. We only need to configure the properties of the BCI block to target the remote BACnet object and property. 
Keep in mind that this process is the same for reading any BACnet object's property from any device installed on the BACnet network. Essentially, a BACnet object on a BACnet device is globally available to Omni using the BACnet comms blocks. In this example, we're demonstrating that using the BCO block, we can write to a remote BACnet object's present value. In this case, I'm writing to the present value of the cooling setpoint on the remote Omni. This is configured of an analog value block, which is a BACnet user variable. The BCO is configured to write to the present value of this object. An important item to note in regards to the BCO, you can configure a priority to write the present value at. This consists of a priority array. For third party devices, this may need to be confirmed with a device manufacturer as to which priority to write at. The priority array works by allowing you to write a specific priority value to change the present value of the object. For example, if you have a binary output that is controlling a fan enable, a time schedule may be controlling this at priority 15, which is a low priority. If a person wanted to press the after hours override for this unit when the schedule is off, the configuration would need to control this at a high priority. In this case, you could write the present value at priority 14. As this is a higher priority, it would override the lower priority of 15, thus enabling the fan control. Note that if the object's present value is controlled at priority 1, which is the highest priority, it cannot be overridden by a lower priority until this priority is relinquished or released. This is due to the fact that no other priority below 1 will have any effect as 1 is the highest priority. In summary, BACnet data sharing is a very simple and efficient method to share data values and control throughout the BACnet network. We use the BACnet comms input and output blocks available with Omni to configure data sharing to any network BACnet device and available objects. Using the BACnet comms blocks, we can target any BACnet object and property, including the reading and if allowed writing to specific BACnet objects within the network. The option to utilize the BACnet blocks within the Omni configuration can be done at any time during the project.